I don't know where the whole idea of a veneer tech got created from, but what you guys are doing is highly fraudulent and highly illegal and you will get arrested if not now, eventually. I'm gonna make a message to the general public, you guys are being scammed. There's no such thing as a veneer tech. Afraid of getting sued? Well, they can't technically sue me because I have everybody signed a paper before they start. And basically that protects me from any um, lawsuit or any action. This TikTok veneer trend, veneer technician trend that is going around the internet, mainly Instagram and TikTok, is bananas. I don't know where the whole idea of a veneer tech got created from, but what you guys are doing is highly fraudulent and highly illegal and you will get arrested if not now, eventually. We have people comparing veneers to like getting your nails done people who are taking one to two day courses for like anywhere between 800 to 1500 dollars and then getting certified as a veneer technician but if you know how to do nails you can do teeth you can do veneers it is literally you're just doing the shape putting it on there using the light boom they're done like if you could just focus and make it the right shape that you want you can do it and you can learn it fast Newsflash, there's no such thing as a veneer technician. Dentists across the globe are speaking out about this. Is, then what happens when things go wrong? You send them to us. No hate, no shade. If I'm correcting your problems that you can't fix, that you have created, and then someone gets angry at me because then I have to charge them, do you not see why there's a problem? In Seeing veneer techs in America wearing full figs with the white coat, with a pin badge of teeth bruv and we even had an interview this woman who was basically saying that you know dentistry is some sort of a gov government scam or something similar to that the whole thing is absolutely wild why do you think that people in this country need a license to practice dentistry that's just the government the government is always trying to scam they're always trying to stop people from making money because if everybody can make money from doing veneers um, that takes away jobs from like dentists and doctors and stuff. So I just believe that when you make somebody have to have a license to do something, you really just want to take their money and you want to make it harder. There are also these veneer technicians literally doing veneers on themselves, doing at home veneers on themselves. Watch me do my own composite veneers. Here's my before. I close my gap, y'all. Oh my God. Close my gap. And then I still have to do this side. We also have people who are coming out and are having these horror stories of how they went to a veneer technician and then basically nearly got like sepsis. I go to the shop. She tells me she don't have the tool to take these partials out my mouth. Veneer techs don't have. So I am flipping out. So straight off the bat, as I'm sure, like I've already said this, veneer techs, it's not a real thing. It's not a real qualification. If you want to be able to do veneers according to just any of the dentists I've seen talking, you have to go to dental school, considering training, and then also all the like post-grad stuff you have to do. I don't understand why these people think that they can print off a certificate from like Staples or their public library, and then they are qualified to do dentistry. They're not. But let, let me show you something real quick. Hold on. You guys are trusting a four by four paper printout for veneer tech? I'm gonna cover up my name and information. But this, this is what actual degree looks like. If you don't see this in an office, you should not trust somebody to do your veneer. Not just, uh, oh, I can just slap, I can just slap down $800 and just be able to become a veneer tech. Um, there was a girl that was doing veneers um, and I DM'd her on Instagram and she said that she was teaching a class um, and it was $800, so. I went to her, she taught me everything, she gave me my certification, and then I started the next day. It was only a one day class. I do understand that the healthcare system in the US is like ridiculously expensive, and what a lot of people are saying is that this is very much a problem on how expensive health care actually is, dental work. This is a reflection on that. So you then have these people who are like lash techs or nail techs telling um, other people that yeah becoming a veneer tech is basically like that yeah i always tell anybody if you know how to do nails you can do teeth in fact there was an interview with this veneer tech off of this account who i've been absolutely loving called the midwest tooth fairy i can barely say this through my own teeth 
um but she's been amazing and she's been dissecting a lot of a lot of this and she interviewed this lady who is a veneer tech and some of the things that she was saying was maddening it was absolutely maddening and they are raking in a serious amount of money a serious amount of money so how much do you charge and how much do you make per mouth um so since i'm just now starting off it's one thousand for all the teeth at the top and one thousand for all the teeth at the bottom so you can do your whole mouth for two thousand dollars and usually i'll do like i don't know maybe like eight people in a week so um i make over like 30 grand a month doing this actual dentists are weighing in and saying that the way in which these veneer techs are going about their practice is basically it doesn't matter if you have like a tooth that is rotting they will just stick like the actual veneer don't know what it's called but the actual thing just in front of it it's like a breeding ground for like bacteria and you can't floss in between there. that stuff keeps sitting on there the acid the bacteria keeps putting it on there and on there and on there that's where the holes come that you get a hole in your tooth and that is what a cavity is so with the veneer tech sometimes they let saliva get on the teeth and the teeth are not completely dried and clean before they before they place the composite veneers with the adhesive so basically i don't want to say cement or glue before they put them on there and put the use the curing light to make it hard so if there's saliva under there it's trapped now some of the people online are saying you know oh it's too expensive to go to a dentist this and that blah 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 and the veneer techs are offering better deals but let me tell you something all of this black and brown tooth structure these are cavities if you put any sort of a material over a cavity what you're doing is you're trapping in an infection the only place for the infection to go then would be down the root of the tooth and into the bone area that quite literally is going to cause irreversible damage to the tooth structure and getting that fixed by an actual licensed dentist is going to cost so much more than these veneer techs will charge for their veneers At they can go and do one of these courses where it's branded as like hey yeah you can come and we'll give you all of the veneer tech things almost as if you're doing nails okay you know like you have the little lighting and you have this gnat and the acrylics this is so dangerous and not the only person dentists have been saying this for a long time assume hypothetically that i had a patient present to my office who had a veneer technician perform some bad dentistry on her smile and now this patient's in pain and needs me to help step in and fix the problem would i as a dentist be liable for that veneer technician's work well, technically nobody can be liable for that veneer technician's work because what she did was assault and battery. And people do ask, they do question, like, what is the legality of all of this? How is this legal? And newsflash, it's not. Aren't you afraid of getting sued? Well, they can't technically sue me because I have everybody signed a paper before they start. And basically that protects me from any um, lawsuit or any action or lawsuit like that. And I got that, but I got it like one of my friends, she uses it for like all of her things. So she just sent me a copy of it and I have them sign it. So. so can you tell us more about what it is that you make your customer sign? So the paper that I got for my uh, patients, it just basically says that they're consenting to the veneers so that they know I'm putting this stuff on their teeth and that they want it to be on their teeth so basically that's it so when they, if they try to take me to court i have that because it says that they wanted this stuff on their teeth had the veneer tech that was being interviewed and she said oh it's fine because i have a little sheet of paper i have this little sheet of paper got it off of my other friend who's a technician and yeah i just make them sign it so actually i'm not liable or something along those lines but you are liable well, they can't technically sue me because I have everybody signed it. This is an interview with a veneer technician who is installing veneers in people's mouths without a license to practice dentistry. I'm a dentist who is married to a lawyer and I can very much tell you that what she's doing is very much illegal. Performing dentistry in the United States on another individual without the license to do so from the Board of Registration and Dentistry is actually considered assault and battery. So you can have that person sign whatever the heck consent that they want, but it will not hold up in court. So I don't know if your patients are gonna sue 
sue you because they signed your little bogus consent form, but you should go to jail. And you're then gonna have to go to an actual dentist who is then gonna try and take them off of your teeth. You could have rotting teeth underneath there. You could literally have sepsis and you could die profiles are everywhere they're called like veneers by vanessa i'm pretty sure that's one of them and then you have like some other people who have these veneer kind of like workshops that they're doing where they're then teaching other people how to do veneers and a lot of these people if not all of them have zero background in dentistry one guy that keeps on being called out and i can't remember for the life of me what he's called but i'll put it up here but he is being called out massively because he's there like holding up this like certificate and where do y'all think that this certificate came from this certificate has no legal binding for any type of like license number behind it so what i came to say is blah 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 it's becoming very normal to start this business and it He's not a veneer tech because veneer techs, I don't know what to say about it, y'all. Help me in the comments. Why is this wrong? I don't, I've never seen his work. I don't know what he's doing, but he's going to be doing composite veneers on people. People want this service. I don't know where they're getting these certificates, but it has no logo. It doesn't have any like little printing. It doesn't come from anywhere. And nearly all of them are wearing these scrubs that look like they were brought off of Amazon. In fact, the one lady in the interview actually clarified that her stuff was in fact taken from Amazon. That's where she got most of her gear. Where do you get your materials, like your dental bond and your adhesive? Uh, everything that I need to use, it comes straight off of Amazon. So um, everything except for the cleaning equipment, I just get rags from like Walmart, Dollar Tree, and then I buy Fabuloso and I wipe down like chair and stuff and wipe off some of the, um, like my UV light. So uh, for all of the rest of the things, we have resin, bond, I order it straight off of Amazon. Um, a lot of people just end up going to Turkey, you know, where they actually like full on file down your teeth and then you then have that. But that has become a massive problem over here. Pay like $2,000 and you've got a set of veneers. Whereas if you actually went to the dentist and you did all of that, that would cost a hell of a lot of money because a lot of dentists say veneers aren't necessary. Going to a licensed dentist and getting your veneers done, it can be quite pricey, but it's pricey for a reason. The other thing to remember is that getting your veneers done is not a necessity. It's quite literally a luxury procedure. You do not need veneers to have a healthy mouth. And in fact, in a lot of cases, you need to have meticulous oral hygiene in order to keep your veneers healthy. I am just waiting. I am waiting for one of these people to get hit with a massive lawsuit because either someone's died or someone's teeth have gotten so infected that they basically get to rip them all out. I'm waiting for that moment to happen because this is really quite scary. So I am flipping out. It, she tells me, she's dr she start drilling them, she's drilling them, drilling them, drilling them, and I'm pulling, I'm aggressively pulling them. Mind you, I don't got no pain medication. You ain't numb me up. You don't got the proper tools to take them out of my mouth. I am crying. At one point, she tells me, you might need to go to the emergency room because I think I might pull your real teeth out with trying to take them out your mouth. I, I think it's way more expensive than like two grand but it doesn't cost a lot of money to fly over to Turkey from here. And a lot of people do literally just go and get their teeth filed down to nubs and then get the things put in. And dentists over here were talking a lot about that and how that is not good and people shouldn't be doing that. So it's kind of like a similar thing, although I don't know if those people, are, I don't know if those people are qualified. I've got absolutely zero idea. I had it with people going to Turkey and getting turkey teeth. They were called turkey teeth with like the big... And then you then take away and it's literally like this tiny little stub because they basically like filed your teeth down into nothingness and then replaced them with veneers. And it's just so scary to think that this is going on and people are just not licensed. People have no idea what they're doing. The more shortcuts you take, the more expensive your entire treatment plan is going to be. So yeah, you, could, you guys can go to Veneers by Vanessa and whoever to get your teeth done. 
But guess what? You're going to be coming to Dentures by Dr. Michelle if you don't start using common sense. Don't let anybody, just anybody, touch your teeth. Interview with that woman and she was just so nonchalantly saying like, yeah, like dentists, like kind of, you know, screw dentists. Dentists don't matter. Like people come to me because they want to have a nice looking smile. And it's like, what happens if something goes wrong? Um, I haven't had anybody that was missing more than like five teeth or had like more than like three rotten teeth or like any teeth that were like bleeding or anything like that. That's really the only time I will say no to doing their veneers is if they're like bleeding that day. What happens if something goes wrong and you end up in a lawsuit because you killed someone because someone then got sepsis because of the work that you did on their mouth? Waiver is not gonna be handling that. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.